Okay guys, I finally did it. I bought a 3D printer. And honestly, I can't believe I waited this long. For months, I kept telling myself, if I ever needed to print something, I'll just order it online. But after watching this video, I knew it was time to stop waiting. I'm a huge fan of Micro Center. Every time I go there, I tend to pass by their 3D printer section, but never really do anything about it. So the first thing I did was call my cousin and ask him if he wanted to come. One hour later, we were standing in the aisles surrounded by 3D printers. This is when I met Brian. And man, this guy was the GOAT. He explained everything from printer types to bed sizes to what materials I could print. And it made me realize something. If I was going to do this, I wanted to do it right. My first thought was the A1 Mini, which was the one from the video. It's cheap, simple, and honestly, it would have done the job. But here's the thing. The A1 Mini is what's called a bed slinger. The entire print bed moves back and forth while printing, which is fine, but it can cause some issues printing taller objects. The printer he recommended was the P1S which is a core XY printer, meaning that the print head moves X and Y while the bed only moves up and down. That technically means faster and cleaner print. It's also fully enclosed. So if I ever wanted to print ABS, ASA, or other high temp filaments, I don't have to worry about the warping or drafts ruining my prints. And finally, the build volume is way bigger. 256 millimeters cubed, versus 180 on the A1 Mini, but I knew I'd outgrow it. So I went with the P1S, but then things escalated. No, God, please, no, no. After hearing more about the speed, sensors, reliability, I decided to just go all in. I walked out with the X1 Carbon the technically bigger brother of the p1s with the lidar sensor for the first layer scanning and harder components for abrasive filaments and just overall it seemed like the end game setup yeah my 250 dollars idea turned into a pretty pricey reality a couple of miles later it was time to unbox this thing Fast forward a couple days and man, I love this printer. I already have a list of prints lined up and I can't wait to share them with you. The main reason why I got this one was because of the capability of being able to print all kinds of material, which I think the P1S can also do. And like after buying it, like I really started doing a little bit more research about like the P1S versus the X1 Carbon. And most people say like, dude, just get the P1S. Yeah, I don't know, maybe for the next the next printer i might get the p1s i don't know it's something about just going to sleep printing at night coming in the morning and just seeing that thing being created is is unlike anything else it's so cool so if you want to follow along my 3d printing journey hit that subscribe button which now lights up if you're on a desktop because we're just getting started and also let me know what kind of printers you guys have in the comments down below all right i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace. Feels like it's just getting started.